Welcome back. Let's get to it. Alright, there's two ways to take care of Medusa. We'll go ahead and show the first one. You take Yon Mirror and go, hey bitch, check yourself out. That's way number one, but we're adventurers, so we'll restore and do the cool way, which is actually rather interesting to me. If you would look upon me, foolish boy, then reveal your true self. Ah. Hear me in earnest, and respond in kind. A blind man asks you to describe the sunset. Um. Well, let's see, we've got say that he's lucky, he's not missing much, that's not very nice. Inform him that looking at the sun is bad for one's eyes. That's rude. This is all fine and dandy, but it doesn't really give him anything to imagine, so we'll go ahead and say, Speak of flame dwindling in a cooling sky, and heavenly fingers which trace the land with warm, dry pools. A poor girl offers to sell you a rotten apple from her basket. Okay, you pay for the apple, you switch the apples with rocks, you swipe it from her hands, or you give her money to buy riper apples. We'll do that one. A harem slave asks for help. Her master will beat her once he learns of her escape. She offers her services. We can help her to flee for no charge, we can accept her offer, we can call for her master, or tell her good luck. We'll go ahead and offer her to help. An old man who reeks of the world's worst dishes. You can send him away, send him to the furthest inn, offer him the stables, but we'll invite him into our After house. After many years of correspondence with the lady, you propose. Upon meeting her in person, she is far less attractive than she described. Claim this is your 15th engagement, apologize, court her, then break it off, or remember how her words moved you. You are not repelled by me. You are not transformed. The enchantment is broken. Forgive me, I have been too hasty in appraising you. It would seem that I possess something of the hard-heartedness I accused you of having. Considering my predecessors, I think your opinion was understandable. How can I thank you? I'll talk Please, to you. there must be something I can do, or offer you, perhaps. Well, I want this stone. If it would please you, I would have this unique stone. It would, though I am loath to ask, I would have you first do a favor for me. Certainly. I have all but forgotten my own appearance, and I should dare not enter the town again until I am made more gentle to the eye. Assuredly, you would make not even the most dazzling sunrise more attractive to the senses. I thank thee for the compliment. However, I still desire a means to appraise myself. I have none. For once transformed into a gorgon, all were destroyed in my terrible rage. Bring me a looking glass, and I will gladly grant you the stone. I will do as you ask, my lady. Alright, we happen to have one. Here you go. I am most grateful to you. You may have the stone if that is your will. Thank you, my lady. Talk to her for a bit. I am most grateful to you. Oh. Okay, we'll take the stone. You take the smooth stone. Oh, this one. And we'll chat with her a little bit before we go. This stone is most unique. Would you tell me something of it? It was my bane. I do not understand. Through my own pride and folly, I have suffered its power. 
The stone caused your transformation? Yes. I looked as I did because I desired to be more beautiful than any woman. The stone was said to be the work of the ancients with the ability to grant one the gift of eternal beauty. However, my vanity tainted its power and I became hideous. Save yourself. None could look upon me without being turned to stone. My solitude nearly destroyed me. Hmm. I take it then that you were of magical persuasion? It is a gift passed down from generation to generation in my family. We took pride that our line could be traced back to the first mages. Is Manannan such a person? Does he share such a link to them? Manannan? Who is he? You do not know? How long have you been down here? I am not sure. I secluded myself in this cave around the time the Port Bruce dock was completed. I believe that was almost a century ago. Has it truly been that long? I shall find it strange, venturing again to the town. Perhaps not. Something tells me it hasn't changed all that much. I am most grateful to you. May the stone serve you better than it served me. Alright, let's wild on out. Farewell, my lady. Farewell, good sir. Yet before we part, I wish to make mention of something I have sensed in your aura. Whatever wretched life you have thus far lived, I feel a great change encroaching upon you soon. For good or ill, I know not. Heed well my advice. Beware those who would offer help, particularly if such should bear a price. I thank you, my lady. You scoop up a small handful of sand. It's good to get that wherever you can. We'll go ahead and save. Sand. Alright, let's head back to... Uh, this is a you magic map, by the way. Magic map. <laughs> it allows you access to places you've been before. So we can go to the cave. The, uh, the thingy. The... God, what's it called? Bear's house. The town... That little spot above the town. We'll go ahead and head back you home. You feel a strange pulling sensation. All right, we want something from the eagle, and we have some fish. Yo. That's an. Ip we have the feather. Be very careful when walking off of that ledge, because you will fall. Since we're here, we'll go ahead and feed the chickens and grab the feather from them. Where? You pick, you gently pluck a feather from the chicken and gently set it back on the ground. Luckily, our timer is still green, so we have plenty of time to mess around with some stuff here. What we want to do is check out this bookcase here. And this is where we will put in our code. We've got... Uh, up. This thing. S. Line. Up. Up. S. Down. Up. Line. And that will open up the secret passage. And I think we can do some spells, so I'm going to go ahead and grab his wand. We have the key here. You unlock the oak cabinet using the brass key. Inside, you find the wizard's magic wand. You take it with you, knowing it could mean death if he finds it missing. He won't find it missing. We'll put it back when we're done. All right, let's head on downstairs. What's odd is he always notices his wand missing, but the next couple things we're gonna jack from him, he doesn't know You about. pick up the bottle labeled ground fish scales and take it with you. Most of the bottles are... You pick up the bottle labeled nightshade juice and take it with you. You pick up the bottle labeled saffron and take it with you. You pick up the bottle labeled toadstool powder and take it with you. You pick up the bottle labeled toad spittle and take it with you. 
pretty certain that's everything from this box, so we'll go ahead and check out his book. And take a closer look at the wizard's work table. Covered with gold trimmings, the old book's leather cover is cracked and worn, its pages yellowed and brittle. The title, however, is clear. The Sorcery of Old. You eagerly thumb through page after page of what you assume to be magic formulas. The ink of the old handwriting is faint and barely readable. Most of the formulas are indecipherable, but a few are in a language you know. You treat the old book with great care. As you can tell, it contains recipes for some very old and powerful magic spells. Your hands shake as you realize this book could be the key to your escape from the evil Mananan. All right, I speak from personal experience here. I've fouled up so many times making these spells, so go ahead and save before you even touch the book. Um, and we'll see what kind of spells we can do. Let's see, we've got a thimble full of dew. We don't have any tuft of hair. We have everything else, but we don't need this, so we'll work on it later. All right, we have a pinch of saffron into a jar of rose petal essence. We have both of those, so we'll go ahead and do that. We need a pinch of saffron into the rose petal essence. You add a pinch of saffron to the vile mart rose petal essence. And it says, recite the following. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the flying like an eagle or a fly incantation. Spirits of air, cloud and breeze, lend me your wings that I may seize the opportunity to fly. Allow me passage through the sky. And then we have to wave a magic wand over it, so... You wand. wave the magic wand over the vial of rose petal essence. One spell done. We'll go ahead and save spell one. And check the book again. You look at Mananin's spell book. Grind one spoonful of salt grains with a mortar and pestle. We don't have either the salt nor the sprig. So, next spell. Grind three acorns. We have those. We have the nightshade. We can make this. So, we'll take... We'll grind the three acorns. In the mortar you and pestle. Place the acorns in the mortar. Ah. You grind the acorns into a fine powder. Remove you them from the bowl. You carefully scoop the acorn powder out of... Put the acorn powder in a bowl. Put one cup of nightshade juice in the bowl. Stir the mixture with the spoon. So we'll take our mixture of powder. Stick it in our bowl. You put the acorn powder into the bowl. We'll take the nightshade juice, put it you in the bowl. pour one cup of nightshade juice into the bowl. Okay, we'll back out. Oh, we have to stir it first. Make sure you do you everything. carefully stir the contents of the bowl. We'll hit. All right, our next part is to boil the mixture. Remove it. You Turn light that on. the charcoal brazier. If you'll notice, my timer has changed to yellow. That means I think we have two or three minutes until we have to get everything back. So we'll... You place the bowl on the charcoal brazier. We'll boil this thing real quick. You wait until the nightshade juice is almost gone. A damp, powdery substance remains behind in the bowl. You remove the bowl from the charcoal brazier. All right, next step is remove the mixture from the heat. Spread mixture on the table and wait until it's dry. Recite the following and wave the wand. Oh, balls, we don't have a pouch. Uh, yeah, okay. Restore. Spell one. I should have read the entire you thing. We don't have a pouch, so we can't do that one yet. Um. Do we have a flask? We do not have a flask. Was there one on the, the thing? You can't... Oh, there it is. 
you pick up the empty flask and take it with you. We'll work on spell number two in the next video.